So we started to talk about the idea of uh, phasing and codes and how those things start to relate to each other. Um, this particular exam, as remember, is about uh, sort of programming and that early schematic design phasing. So we're really focused on that kind of beginning phase. But just to sort of put it in a little context, we have you know, zoning issues, we have building code issues, we have, let's say, ADA issues, we have any number of other specifics to any specific project. There might be covenants. It is a whole series of different types of issues that we would uh, have on any one project. Pretty much every project will have zoning code and uh, building code issues. But then the other aspects would be specific to that particular project. And uh, you know these will have different uh, moments of importance uh, as you go along. So you could start to just map this out uh, at the beginning of sort of once you get the program sort of set. Well, how is this going to go? What are the issues that we need to start to think about? Uh, and from a zoning standpoint, uh, under at schematic design, it's uh, the big aspect is you know where does the building go? You know, so how does that building fit? into the situation. So that's about the setbacks and about all, all those sorts of issues. Under design development, it's are we meeting everything? Like it's asked for maybe outside area for uh, in a residential setting for people to be able to play or have barbecues and things. Well, do we have enough space for that? So do the numbers work? You know, is it, is it actually functioning the way that we said it was? And then when we get into contract documents, we're talking about, did we document? Is it clear that uh, you know, this amount of space has been left in order to allow those, uh, the kids to play for the barbecue or whatever it is? Is it clear that uh, the reason the building is placed where it is is because we set, uh, set back off the side because that's the zoning rule? Like, is that documented and clear? So the uh, schematic design is, kind of what's happening, what's the big thing, how do we make sure it's working. The design development in zoning is going to be, all right, making sure the numbers, making sure we're getting at the right scale, we're getting at the right little, you know, everything. The, we said the massing needs to work, well, now we're calculating it out very closely and making sure that even after the various changes and alternatives, it still works. Well, contract documents is about documenting all that stuff. It's about being able to tell people. So who are we telling? Well, one, we're telling the contractors and all of that so that they can make sure that they're building it accurately. Uh, it's one thing to say, yeah, the building should be about two feet off the property line. It's quite another to say there is a legal restriction of two feet off of the property line. Once we say that this is a setback, well, that contractor now has very clear sense. It's not like, yeah, two one foot ten, something like No, it's two feet. It's a legal restriction. And if we've been clear in our documentation, that shouldn't even be an issue. It should be very straightforward. They would know it immediately. Well, that's not the only person that's getting that information. The other people are getting it is going to be the code officials. We're presumably getting a permit from somebody. We're, getting, we're showing the work to somebody uh, to say, yes, in this municipality, yes, you can build this structure. They need to be able to see that information. So we're communicating that information to those, those folks. So uh, it all has to be documented in some way that you're telling that story. And it's got to be told in a way that they are expecting it to come and they know where to look to find it so that you're not just sort of uh, floating these issues out uh, in the world and hoping that somebody will find them. Uh, and then when you start getting into uh, some of these other phases, uh, like say construction administration, Hopefully, there's really very little zoning question at that point. By that point, you've gotten a permit, you've got the project started, um, and it's possible you're sort of uh, putting out fires is might maybe the only thing that's going on there, but you're not really focused on any zoning code issues. All right, when we start looking at building code, you're looking at the big issues, so like general ideas of egress at schematic design and sort of these big scale sort of separations, if you will. So the idea, maybe we're going to have 
retail and residential in the same building. Well, there has to be a very clear separation that's going to be a fire rated separation between those. Or we're going to have vehicles in one part of the building, like a parking garage, and then there's going to be uh, residential in another part. Well, there's got to be a very clear separation so that the smoke and the uh, toxins from the vehicles can't make their way into the residential units, right? So that idea, those are big picture ideas of how we're uh, uh, making sure that everybody's going to be safe and separated, uh, that they're going to have the space to be able to get out. In design development, yeah, again, we're going through the numbers. Like, all right, we said we would do that. Is it actually working? We're actually calculating it all out. We're making sure that everything meets. And if it doesn't, we're changing the design in order to make it meet. So uh, we're kind of putting it to the test. Uh, and then we get to contract documents. And now we're really documenting all of that information in that same way that we were talking about for the zoning. But even in the contract documents now, we're actually also getting to the spot where we're getting more and more detailed. So we're not just saying, all right, there's a two hour separation between uh, this use and that use. Now we're saying that not only is it a two hour separation, but here's the uh, UL number for that wall type that demonstrates that it's a two hour separation. So that idea of communication is even more robust than the one that we were talking about for zoning. It gets even more detailed. Uh, and then when we start getting into con construction administration, uh, there's actually quite a lot of discussion that happens under the building code in that because we have inspectors coming and the inspectors are making sure that uh, things are following the way the drawings are going and that they're looking to make sure the light and vent is uh, actually matching and they're making sure that the uh, uh, venting devices from the HVAC equipment uh, aren't too near a window and they're going to contaminate the fresh air that's supposed to be coming in. They're looking for all of that and there's a lot of time that you spend uh, dealing with uh, code inspectors uh, and uh, making sure that that process. So that's that sort of troubleshooting aspect of things, which is you know a big part of making sure that a project can actually you know get done right that you're, you're sort of finding that way so you start to see a pattern of how these things go and where there's the strong points and where there's the time commitments uh, as I said for this particular exam we're really kind of in this moment right we're just at the beginning and we've started from programming and now we're going into that schematic design and so we're really thinking about well how does the thing fit uh, what are the big ideas, egress and basic separations? You know, we're not really getting into all the numbers. We're not really getting into the documentation yet. That's for the later exams. We're not worried about troubleshooting. That's down the road, right? That's somebody else's worry, but, uh, or not somebody else's, your worry, but down the road. But these sort of uh, basic concepts would absolutely be figured out at this point, because if they weren't, then you're going to run into trouble down the road. Um, all of these other things would go exactly the same way. If you're talking about the ADA, you know, we're, we're talking about making sure things uh, like uh, maybe there are some ramps to be able to get from a grade height up to a first floor height. Well, you know, where basically is that ramp going to go? It should be that the front door is the same entry for everybody, steps and ramps. So uh, can we do it without any ramps? Maybe we can do it with a landscaping, you know, like those kinds of big sort of rough justice ideas would be happening in those early schematic design phases. But then with the ADA, as we start getting sort of deeper into these phases, there's going to be more and more detail that has to be worked out. Like, is that really going to fit uh, for in that design development phase? We've got to make sure that the exact heights that we're going to actually make uh, the 1 in 12 ramp and that uh, our ramp isn't more than 30 inches because if it does then we have to have a landing in between, et cetera, et cetera. It was going deeper into the code in order to make sure that we're actually meeting all of the issues. And then it will go along and again we're troubleshooting down at the end. So each of these things has their moment. Uh, they go from the big idea to the detail to the communication, to the troubleshooting, and some of those are going to be much more important at different points along the way, uh, and other ones are going to be uh, more important at a different point along the way, because that's just the nature of when those issues pop up. Uh, it's useful to kind of map it out uh, and see what's coming, uh, but it is not, uh, not something that we're supposed to have all of the information all at the beginning. Like you need to build that information in as you move along, otherwise it overwhelms uh, the beginning of a process. 
So uh, thinking of the phases, whenever we think of phases, we're thinking of the contracts, we're thinking of the program, we're thinking of uh, the codes, we're thinking of, like we have those moments where we use those phases specifically to be able to do these kinds of reviews and to be able to plan out the work, right? That's the whole point.